Hi, this is Brad Linder from Lilliputing, and uh, I'm taking a quick look at the HP 2133 Mini Note computer running OpenSUSE Linux. Um, as you can see, I've already got it set up here, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough and show some of uh, what comes with the, uh, the computer before I go and start playing with the operating system and doing other things. Um, overall, it's, it's, as you can see, a small computer. Here's my hand. Here's a, a miniature mouse. Um, and uh, hold on one second. Here's a CD, so you get a sense of um, the size of, uh, of this computer now. And uh, it's, you know, I'm, I'm overall really impressed so far with the screen. Uh, the, uh, the screen resolution is absolutely amazing. Uh, let me show you just a second here. I'm going to pull up the Firefox web browser and, uh, and give you a sense of just how much you can fit on a screen here. And, uh, you know, the text is just so incredibly sharp that I, I honestly think that the easiest thing for a lot of people to do is probably going to be to uh, change the resolution so that they don't wind up squinting all the time to see things. This same page on, on a EPC, an Aussie's EPC, you can only see from about here to here. You, you really can't get this much uh, resolution. But fortunately, you can just very easily in the, uh, the OpenSUSE module here choose from a variety of screen resolutions like 960 by 600, 1000 by 600, 1088 by 612, 1280 by 600, and so on and so forth, all the way up to a maximum of 1280 by 768, which is what we're looking at. Uh, for comparison's sake, let's quickly switch it to 960 by 600, which is the lowest resolution. Let's go ahead and use the previous. Or uh, let's say 1088 by 612. So again, there's there's the basics. Um, as you can see, it's running the Firefox web browser. It's version 2.0.0.12, which is a, a couple of iterations old, but uh, you should be able to update that without too many problems. The uh, computer also ships with uh, OpenOffice, so you've got your basic word processor suite. Let's take a look at some of the other applications that come with it as well. Let's click the uh, More Applications. And you can see they're divided up into different groups here, and you can filter uh, by different types too. So you've got a, a CD DVD burner, you've got a music player, a new expansion player, a uh, real player for Linux, uh, and then some settings here for recording, uh, monitoring, recording sounds, uh, volume monitor, etc. You can browse your computer, your home folder, and uh, so forth. And uh, for some reason, the web browser comes under the browse section. Uh, under communication, you've got evolution email, which is a uh, sort of open source version of Outlook. You've got Game, which is actually an outdated version of uh, a multi-instant messenger client. It's now called Pigeon, and uh, you can probably update that if you'd like to as well. You've got an RSS reader and an email client. Uh, the FSpot photo browser and uh, OpenOffice Draw for... Um, and here comes my cat. Hello, uh, OpenOffice Draw. Under Office, you've got uh, the OpenOffice suite, which includes a spreadsheet application, a database application, uh, and, of course, a word processor. And you also have Evolution showing up here again. And then under System, a variety of uh, settings and configuration things. So you can uh, configure your streaming media, you can configure uh, your Bluetooth settings if you have Bluetooth, which this particular model doesn't, and so on. Um, so this is basically, this is OpenSUSE. This is, this is what comes with OpenSUSE when you install it on any computer. Um, there don't seem to be a lot of modifications for HP's Mininote series here, other than the fact that you've got an HP background, and uh, presumably there, there may be some drivers that HP included that, uh, that you might not get if you just installed on your own. Now, there's a couple of uh, couple of applications that uh, are pretty easy to use right away. Uh, for example, there's a uh, wireless connection manager that uh, I was able to get online very quickly just by clicking that. Uh, and you can configure things by clicking the control center here as well. So if your wireless isn't working right away, you can come into the control center and you can look for your uh, network card settings. Enter your password and it'll bring up the uh, some settings 
that you can change there. Um, if you want to do some more advanced settings, you can go in here and do your password. And now you have access to some of your more advanced settings. And uh, I guess the last thing I want to show you is a little bit of uh, the performance that you can get out of this uh, chip. It's got a 1.2 GHz VIA uh, C7 processor, which is not exactly a speed demon, but it can handle some multimedia functions. So let's go to Hulu. And you can see right now that uh, you know, flash transitions are not going very quickly. But uh, go ahead and uh, watch a clip from Saturday Night Live here. And the video is loading. So you can see it plays video relatively smoothly. Um, we have to go through a commercial here, which is going to take a few more seconds. But when the commercial is over, you'll see that um, we can also watch video in full screen, and at that point, it's not nearly as smooth. So there you go. And there you go. That's the HP Mini Note 2133 running OpenSUSE Linux. I'm Brad Linder for Lilliputing.